Welcome back to my little channel. Now, not too long ago, I had, um, how do you call this? Well, a few streams on the coronavirus, and in that stream, we talked about one or two topics, a bit more than one or two. Now, I understand people won't be watching that live stream. I mean, it's one and a half hour. So I'm going to bring some of those topics back in short videos. For example, in Italy, they had a huge problem because of the coronavirus. But here's the thing, they saw it coming, but um, they weren't allowed to point it out. And I don't understand why that is. But if you think that's bad, well, it gets one worse. It gets one worse, yes, because being woke can't go too far. What do I mean? Well, in Italy, Virologist says that fear of racism slowed Italy's coronavirus response. So they could have done a better job at it, but they didn't because they were afraid to be called racist. I would like to point to the UK when it comes to rape gangs because there they had the same problem. You can't address the rape gang issue because of being a racist. But here you can't address a sickness because of being called a racist. I'm sorry, how far do we let our politicians carry this political correct nonsense if it's actually killing us? Is it actually killing us? Well, no, it's the Wuhan virus that's killing us, or the coronavirus, or the Wuhan coronavirus, or the Chinese virus, or I don't care how people call it. The virus wouldn't have been so successful if politicians hadn't been such idiots. And in in Italy, it's even worse. The mayor of Florence actually urged Italians to go hug a Chinese. Now, to me, that seems mildly racist because there's two things he's trying to say here. One, um, yeah, okay, the Chinese uh, are not hated by us. Fair enough. I can live with that. And two, they might spread the disease. They might not. But if they do spread the disease, it's no problem because they're Chinese and you're only Italian. And if they don't spread the disease, well, still no problem. I hope you catch on that you're only Italian bit. Because it's beyond stupid to go hug anyone in this time of year. Well, in this time of the crisis, I guess. It's not the year, that's the problem. Only to be political correct. It must be me. I know it must be me. But um, these are the politicians we have. And I'm not just shitting on, on Italy for this one. But let's be honest. I mean, when, when a professor of virology is basically saying we could have done a better job. But we're not doing that because we're afraid to be racist. Yeah, there is something seriously wrong. And then when the virus is already in your country and you tell people, yeah, but... You know what? It's it's not a big deal. Uh, let's go. Let's go hug a Chinese guy. It's um. It's a form of racism. I mean, it's it's, I guess, positive discrimination because he doesn't say go hug people. No, no, go hug a Chinese guy. Basically, you're telling me that they need extra attention or that they're better than me. I don't understand this. I seriously don't un understand politicians. I mean. If anything, crises show us the fools we have leading us. And um, I understand that we are being told to self-segregate, because that's basically what we're being told. We're being told to quarantine. We're be being told to curfew. I can understand. I don't agree with it, but I can understand it. And I don't have a problem with doing so. But at the same time, there is a double standard, because at one point we're told to self-curfew. And this was being told in Italy too, by the way. But whilst doing so, go hug a Chinaman. Anyway, your criticism is more than welcome. I'm really hoping to grow my channel. So like, share and subscribe. And um, criticism, as always, is more than welcome. So do respond. I'll try to give a response back. And I hope to see you all next time.